So today, finally, we have the release of Forestry. You might be saying, hey, isn't Forestry already in the game? Well, today is Forestry Part 2. What's Forestry Part 2? Well, it contains a bunch of extra additions to the Forestry update, including two-handed axes, or otherwise known as felling axes, a whole host of new Forestry events, coupons for the sawmill, and much, much more. So let's get into it. Now, probably the biggest part of the update is the addition of the two-handed axes, or the felling axes. Any axe can be turned into a felling version of it simply by using a felling axe handle on the appropriate axe. Currently, the axe handle is going for about a mil, so... Now, why would you want a felling axe? Well, these things offer higher experience per hour than a conventional axe of the same tier, so it's better than the dragon axe like this one right here. But to operate them, you need to keep on hand a bunch of snacks that was being forced to rations, which will be consumed at a pretty quick rate. So the cost to use this axe is higher, of course, than the conventional axe, which has no cost. Now you see that we're using a forester's ration every time we successfully chop a log, not every swing. So every time we get experience, we're going to use up a ration, but we're also not getting a log every single time. This means that you're going to get higher experience per hour, but also less logs, which is very helpful for quick training because you have to drop logs less. Overall, just making this the best type of axe for experience training. Now the amount of rations that you use per hour is really going to depend on the log that you're chopping. For higher experience methods like willows or teak logs, you're going to use a lot more rations per hour. Where if you're chopping magics or redwoods, you're really not going to use that many. So honestly, there's a lot to talk about with even Forestry Part 2. They've added in a lot of new things, and let's start off with the new forestry events. Today they've added in five new forestry events. The Friendly Ent event, the Pheasant event, the Beehive event, the Enchantment Ritual event, and the Poachers event. Well, let's start off with the Poachers event because we got that one first. Very simple. All you have to do is disarm the fox traps as they spawn. There's a big red animation as one that gets put down. All you have to do is left click on it, you get some bark, and you'll get a chunk of them at the end. I should appear a bit late, so we'll have to see for a future one if it's any better than that. Interestingly though, you're getting actually experience in a secondary skill. So for the poacher event, we got some hunter experience on top of woodcutting. Now it's not a lot considering you're only going to get a couple events like that an hour, but interesting. Okay, so next up here we have the unfinished beehive event. I actually really like this one. All you have to do is put logs onto it, which has kind of a double benefit. You complete the event and you get to clear your inventory of logs, so it feels pretty good actually. The only issue is if you don't have enough logs to start with, you're kind of a SOL or you can pick some logs up off the ground or try to chop them quickly. But the beehive appears like half a dozen times, so you actually need a good number of logs. So for that reason, I often was only dropping like half my inventory at a time. Now even existing events that I've already done now actually give a different variation of experience. The mulch event now gives farming experience, which is really interesting. Could be a decent way to level up farming in the beginning. It's hard to tell at this point whether these have any requirements to do the event. It's possible. Now one thing I actually noticed, which is kind of interesting, the Rising Root event, which already was in the game, um, if you have the 200 axe, you'll sometimes not get Anima Bark when you destroy the log, which makes sense, but it's one thing to keep in mind that for this event in particular, the Felling Axe is actually worse, as you have a chance of completely mangling your log. Have you ever seen a monster from RuneScape and thought, man, I wish I could just have a miniature version of Jad and hey, they could have a tea party with Zeliana? Not exactly. Well, regardless, I am super excited to be working with Crumb again, today's video sponsor. If you want to materialize your love for RuneScape, Crumb Store is some of the most iconic RuneScape characters, but in miniature form. I've owned these models for years, and one thing that is really obvious, they're extremely high quality. Each figure is cast in a pressure chamber using silicon molds, then carefully polished, hand-painted, and assembled. It's not just me though, Crumb has amassed hundreds of 5 star reviews due to the quality of his figurines. Recently, Commander Ziliana has been added to the roster, but all of the other figurines have recently been restocked. So now is a great time to pick one up, and they often sell out fast. Crumb is also giving off 20% to the viewers of my channel this week only. All you have to do is click the link in my description, or simply enter the code FLIPPING to claim the discount. And a huge thanks to Crumb again for sponsoring the video. Oh, we got another new event here, the Pheasant event. This one's really simple, it's like an easier version of the bee event. All you have to do is click on a nest that doesn't have a pheasant on it and bring an egg to the forester. You'll notice you're actually getting some pheasant tails as well. These are used to claim a new cosmetic outfit. I think you need 60 of them for the entire outfit. 
One thing to keep in mind though is if you accidentally click on the pheasant, you'll get stunned for a decent amount of time, like 5 or 6 seconds. But overall the event is incredibly easy and provides a pretty decent amount of anima bark, but it doesn't appear to give you a chunk at the end. Oh my god, we just did the fox event and we got 74 anima bark just for completing it. I think the poacher event is probably one of the best ones. Tons of bark, so yeah, we'll definitely take more of those. Okay, so we finally got the friendly ant event and they just want a haircut. It's pretty simple, you just have to find the haircut they want based on the description. What the hell was that? We finished it in like 5 seconds and got 50 bark for that. Okay, so that one can be completed very quickly if everyone figures out the right haircut. That one's incredibly good and only takes 5 seconds apparently. And the final of the new event is the druid event which is again very simple. It's just a game of odd one out. All you have to do is stand on the odd color out or odd symbol out. Very simple, after standing there for a few seconds, you'll get 8 or 9 anima bark. And at the end you get a big boost of around 50 as well. So it's a pretty good event for bark as well, and a bit of wood cutting experience. Now another pretty big addition today is Forester's Campfires. Essentially this is a way to train fire making in a much more relaxed manner. It's very similar to bonfires in RS3, essentially you just have one big fire and you slowly add logs to it instead of having to make a million campfires. Now although this sounds great, the experience is heavily reduced per log. So normally redwood logs would give you 350 experience, but when you add them to a campfire or forester's fire, you only get 117, so that's less than half. It's about a third it looks like. So that is significantly less, but it is much more relaxed. Now the highest amount of experience you can get per hour with forestry campfires is about 160k per hour, 175. Which is not competitive with other fire making methods, but it's pretty nice, really relaxed, has a cool animation. Decent option for players who don't want to make lines of fires over and over again, which I can understand. So though sure the two-handed axe is going to increase the experience rate at all trees, what I'm most interested in is redwoods. Where can I just relax, chill the hardest? and still get decent experience. Well, let's try it out with the Dragon Felling Axe, probably the most popular axe. Now we are level 99 woodcutting, so this will probably be the highest amount of experience you can get with this axe on Redwoods. So not only are we gonna be getting more experience per hour because the chop rate is actually legitimately just higher, but we'll also be getting less logs, so we won't have to drop things as much. On top of the new forestry timer, which was added in part one, meaning we can AFK for like 5 or 6 minutes at a time consistently, making this probably one of the best uses of this axe. On top of that, we're going to hardly use any rations per hour. We'll use like 100, 200 max. So we chopped this redwood tree for about 40 minutes, and we're getting 75k per hour woodcutting experience, which is really good. Now previous to this update, the max you could get per hour with a dragon axe was about 65k per hour, so we're getting almost 10k more which is really significant. With a crystal axe, you could probably get upwards of maybe 90k per hour, which is incredibly good for how AFK redwoods are. So about a 10-15% increase in chop speed. Now there are a few other interesting additions today. Now there was a new item that was added that can be very rarely obtained from the poacher event, and that's the fox whistle. This is actually a new transmog for the beaver pet, which will turn it into a red fox kind of already have that. Well, we got a red panda. No idea how rare the whistle is, but I've only seen one person get it so far. So it's definitely pretty rare. Now, there's also a very rare chance of getting the golden pheasant egg from the pheasant event, which is another transmog for the beaver pet, which will turn it into a pheasant. Pretty similar idea. I'm sure it's probably the same rate. Now beyond that, there are two other interesting items that are in the forestry shop. The twitcher's gloves and the sawmill voucher. The Twitcher's Gloves are a new glove item that increases the chance of you getting bird nests from trees. It is a 10% increase and come with 250 charges. Every time you receive a log, a charge will be consumed, so you can only chop 250 logs this way. But I have actually no idea why you'd buy these. They're 250 anima bark and each time you get a log, it uses a charge. So you can only get 250 logs or like 10 inventories of logs before they're gone. How many nests are you getting in that time frame? Like two, three, I don't know, maybe zero? Seems kind of like a waste of time. And finally here we have the sawmill vouchers which will give you double the amount of planks from the sawmill. An interesting item, I don't know if they'd ever be worth buying, maybe for Ironman they'd be nice, but that 
in a nutshell is what was added today with Forestry Part 2. Overall, I'm actually quite enjoying it. I will say there's a lot going on. There's a lot of things in the Forester's kit you need to spawn events and they're it's a little confusing. I think it could be a bit simpler, but overall, I am enjoying the update. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.